1994 on an L Mark III Golf GTI, two litre petrol on the five speed manual. This one in blue wants a little bit of love in places, but again, it's yet to be sold. This Mark III Golf it's starting to come around a little bit now. I know for a long time people uh, were sort of very, very, very cheap, but they're coming up a little bit now. Got a little bit of following as well. Body wise, let's we'll start off with the bonnet. We're way around this Mark III onto the interior, and then we'll fire it into life. Up the bonnet itself, all nice and straight, no major dings or dents. We'll see we've got some stone chips down the front half there, and a few little bits of stone chip black appeal. Some scratches where it's been uh, washed and stored over the years. It's been off the road for a few years, this one. Lights nice and clear, bumper corner, a little bit of a mark on the corner itself, but not too bad. It's a lovely bluey purple, this one. Across the front bumper, all nice and straight. Again, a few little bits of stone chips here and there across the front. The valance is all nice and tidy as well, though. Right-hand side headlight, nice and clear. You'll see the bonnet cable is out here. The, the It doesn't really pull. Apart from here to the car, it's a little bit stretched, so the bonnet cable's there to be opened. Around the rear front right-hand side arch, you'll see we've got the trims. I believe there's some parts in the car. The trims aren't on there. There's some bits and pieces in the car, though, as well. The correct BBS wheels on. A bit of corrosion behind the uh, plastic trim at least they're off so you can see what you're getting into it's had a sill section tacked on which you can't see on the right hand side and the river inserts are aren't there either and again all the body kit is off this one sunroof model no corrosion around the roof at all again a little bit dull on the paint see so it's had a sill section tacked on there it's going to want a little bit more fabrication to get it back on the road but it's all nice and tidy across the rear Rear lights are all nice and clear as well. Tailgate's good with a little bit of a dent there and one or two little chips here and there. We have got some corrosion underneath that left-hand side rear light. Rounding down the left-hand side, same condition on the left-hand side. You've got corrosion on the rear arch. And again, a sill section tacked in on that left-hand side as well. A bit more corrosion on the arch. It's kind of one arch section by the looks of it. Nice and straight down the driver, uh, passenger door with a little bit of corrosion there some more corrosion coming through on the front wing it does start on the button runs and drives bit of a project body weight wise this one interior is all nice and standard as well left hand uh, right hand side get my left and right correct at some point today won't i the right hand side door cards all okay well, it's a bit of a clean in here there's a little bit of dust where it's been stored it shows 113,000 on it we've got some paint some under seal some trim pieces here all these side trims are there Arches are there as well. Got some under seal in the back of there as well. Into the boot. We can't get into the boot. <laughs> into the bonnet. Door card. All okay on the left hand side. All straight again. Various parts in there. Let's see, we've got some tins of underbody protection there. And the trims are in the back. Into the bonnet, which we've left up intentionally two litre petrol in there James is going to fire it alive for us as you'll see we've got the booster pack on there the battery was flat James will fire it up fire straight in the knife there there you have it 1993 Mark 3 Golf GTI